Hello, I've got a bit of everything for you tonight. Piano, mandolin, acoustic guitar, and look, <gasps> this never, never sees the light of day. Uh, I think I played my electric once in public, so um, I'm taking a little bit of risks today. Because you've got to face your fears. Anyway, hello people. I hope you're all, all right today. If you've missed the other few shows that I've been doing, um, I've already done uh, lots of original stuff. Um, and this one is, uh, this is all the covers. So the, I'm debuting a few new things today that I haven't played, uh, new covers. And then um, some stuff that you've heard from me before as well. So you should get a little bit of new and old. But first I'm going to get my iPad. Um, so keep coming into the room. Who's this? Chaba Yambrik. Oh, that's my Hungarian cousin. I'm being watched in Hungary. Sia, servus. That's about all I can say in Hungarian. I can say where is the toilet, but that's irrelevant right now. <laughs> Comments on. There we go. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I keep forgetting to say. Um, I keep forgetting to say hello to my niece and nephew, and I believe they might be watching tonight. So Ella and Owen, I'm so sorry that I didn't say hello to you. Um, so hello, Ella and Owen, if you are watching, nice to see you. Thank you for watching. Um, it's your bedtime soon, though, so don't get into trouble on my account. Right, we're going to get started then. So I'm starting today with a brand new song. Uh, it's a cover, it's not mine, uh, but it's a song that I've been wanting to play for ages. Uh, it's the first thing I learned on my electric when I bought this, and it's by a singer-songwriter called Leanne Le Havis. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't come across Leanne Le Havis, you, you must check her out. She's awesome. Um, I first fell in love with her after watching her on Jules Holland and then um, last year I went to Hyde Park to see Stevie Wonder, more of Stevie Wonder later, and Leanne was playing at the festival as well so I got to see her live too, just by accident. So this is a fab little um, fun tongue-in-cheek song called Age. Retrieve my 
pointed it out at a gig in Newark at the Navigation, I believe it was. Um, and yeah, that was many years ago and I've not played it since, so that was good fun. Okay, the next song, I'm gonna do another, um, another one on electric and I'm gonna move it because I've got a little issue with my, my electric and my amp and when my fairy lights are on, it goes mental. Um, so uh, I had to turn them off, but I'll put them back on in a minute when I've finished. <laughs> watching I saw you earlier uh, come into the room hello Hayley and Erica and Arthur and um, Hayley this song is for you and um, this is a song by the Staves um, which uh, are a, a group of sisters uh, from somewhere in London Watford I think and um, also you should check them out if you haven't already uh, they are awesome um, just before lockdown happened um, we went to see them and uh, we also went to see them in Lincoln a few years ago as well and they just they're always amazing um, and both me and Hayley are really into like backing vocals and the Staves um, vocals are just dreamy together um, so uh, this was the first song I knew of the Staves uh, and this is the first song I showed to Hayley before she also converted to fangirlism so this one's for you Hayley <clears throat> this is called Teeth White <laughs> so it doesn't go crazy when I put the fairy lights on. Uh, 
I guess I need to do a bit more electric stuff, don't I? The time shall come, friends, the time shall come. Good, okay, now I can have fairy lights on. Oh, sparkly, sparkly. I think one set of them are about to stop working, they keep flashing at me. Good, okay, what have we got going on? What have we got going on? Let's have a look, who's here? What comments do we have? Oh, lovely, Stuart Crud, hi there, Stuart, hi Sarah. Um, Lucy Hart is watching. Hey Lucy, uh, she's from Suffolk. She's an awesome musician as well. You should check out her band Honey and the Bear. They are very cool. Um, Peter says Erica and him were loving it and he says hi. Hi Peter and Erica. Um, lovely to, to see uh, people coming in the room. Thank you very much for being here. I'm going to play my acoustic. My old chum. I'm going to play you a little bit of Isley Brothers. <laughs> who I adore. Um, I can't quite work out whether I love the Isley Brothers or the Doobie Brothers more, because um, there's just so much to choose from. But I'm, I'm doing, I'm, Doobie Brothers is another day. Isley Brothers tonight. So this is a bit of Harvest of the World. used to play when I was out gigging lots uh, years ago um, that people really 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 liked and uh, I like it too. Um, has someone just written Big Yellow Taxi? They have. Well do you know what whoever that is Paul J 
you need to keep watching to the end because you might just get that. <laughs> I did say it wasn't going to be any requests tonight, but I can do that one. <laughs> anyway, for now, you're going to get leaving on a jet plane. I 
gave this uh, this guitar a little bit of a, a makeover or an MOT, should I say, uh, since I last saw you. I'm really, really lazy at changing my strings. It's terrible, really. I'm not even going to admit how long the strings were on this guitar. Um, so I gave it a, a, pop, a proper polish up, new strings, fast fretted it. I, I, I have to say, I mean, I know I played electric earlier and there is a, a joy to that too, but there's just nothing quite like this baby. I do love her, I do. Right, now, the last live stream two weeks ago, um, I, I I don't think I mentioned that there's a bit of a delay in the comments um, that come through. Um, hi, Christopher Fry, nice to see you. I hope Amy's there too. And Alex Needham, oh my God, hello Alex, I haven't heard from you for years. I do love seeing all these names come up of people I either don't know or I haven't seen for years. Uh, it's really cool that you're here, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've lost my train of thought now, what was I saying? Uh, ah yes, the last live stream, um, uh, th there's a bit of a delay that comes in from the, the comments. And at the end of last show, I asked you if you wanted um, all out of sympathy. Um, or whether, uh, I can't remember, it was something else at the time. Um, and I didn't, when I finished the song that I was on at the time, I looked at my comments and I didn't see it come up, so I assumed that nobody wanted it. And then when I pressed finish live stream, I had all these comments going, I asked for it, I asked for it. So I'm so sorry for those of you who, who did ask me to play All Out of Sympathy. Um, I'm going to play it now for you because I missed it last time. And also, if Paul and Sue Chamberlain are watching, I'm dedicating this to you because you requested it last week and uh, not last week, last fortnight. Um, and it was your wedding anniversary as well. So I'm very sorry that I, I, I missed it. I felt very guilty. So this is an original one from Amoeba and Stone. <coughs> and it's very high. So I need to sit up. <coughs> <coughs>
Fletch. Ah, I'm seeing some awesome names here. James Wynn Stanley. My goodness, I have not seen you since sixth form. Or maybe it was, I don't know, some party after sixth form, but it's been a while anyway. <laughs> Hi, Gareth Pywell. Nice to see you too. And uh, I can see some uh, names. Stuart Codd's here. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. And um, Carl Fox is here. And Carl Fox emailed earlier in the Let's Slip. It was his birthday. Happy birthday, Carl. I hope you're having an awesome day. I don't know how awesome it is when you're in lockdown. I know a lot of people that have had birthdays recently and they're like, it's the most boring birthday ever. So um, I, I'm sending you lots of good wishes and excitement and hope you're... Oh, well, I'm pleased that you're, you're spending your birthday watching me. Um, so thank you. Right, I'm going to play a little bit of piano. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do a little bit of Elton John. If my brother is watching, I don't know if he is, um, but if he is, hi. Um, and my brother asked me to play this at his wedding uh, many years ago. Ten years ago, in fact, I think. And uh, I've literally never been so nervous in my entire life because I thought, it's my brother. He will actually kill me if I go wrong. It's less pressure now, ironically, when I've got the world watching. <laughs> So 
Katie is a really great piano player, which is what made my mouth uh, very, very dry there, because I'm about to do something terrifying. Every live stream I've done um, so far, I've put a Risk song in, either something that... Um, I've never played before or something that I have never played well before. <laughs> like It's like, it's a kind of a practice kind of thing. And uh, this next one is my Risk song for today. Despite the fact that I've actually played quite a few uh, things that I've not played before. And um, those are less risky than this next one. <clears throat> so I am a huge, huge fan of Stevie Wonder. Um, but he, like Joni Mitchell, my, Stevie Wonder and Joni Mitchell are probably two of my, my biggest influences. And they write really difficult stuff. Um, Stevie in particular, because he's just a genius on the piano. And um, he always writes stuff in really difficult keys that have loads of black keys in them. Um, so they're really hard um, hard to play. Um, and this song is, is a Stevie Wonder song. Um, and I saw him, as I said earlier, I saw him last year at Hyde Park. Um, and it was just amazing. And I was a bit teary, actually, because um, at the end of the concert, he, he revealed for the first time that he was taking a break from music to have a... Um, I th some kind of transplant, I can't remember, liver or kidney or something. Um, and so he wouldn't be playing again for a long time. So the, there was thousands of people there just going, oh my God, what? It was quite tear jerking. But as, I guess as it happens, everybody's taking a break from music now. So anyway, this is a Risk song. I don't think I've ever played this perfectly all the way through. It's bloody hard. Uh, not only is it hard, it changes time signature halfway through. So let's have a go, shall we? It stood me in good stead the last few weeks. Here we go. <coughs> Channeling the Stevie. <sighs> Living for the city. It's so funky.
God. There is nobody, there is nobody more pleased with that than me. <laughs> oh man, you've just witnessed a first. That, da -da -da, da -da -da. that is always the bit that I mess up. I got it right three times. This is a joyous occasion, um, but let's stop being smug, eh? <laughs> ah, I I'm, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I'm so in shock, I don't know what I'm playing next or what limbs I have or anything. Let's see what's going on in the comments. Who is here? Richard Baker? Oh my goodness, is that the Richard Baker I went to school with? If so, hello Richard Baker, what are you doing now? Um, what else have we got? Emily Ormond, hi Emily, hi Pauline. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, everyone's saying they like the Stevie Wonder one, that's good, that's good. That gives me hope and faith. Dorothy, hello Dorothy, that means my dad is watching too. Uh, they're watching too, thank you very much for tuning in. Cy Williams, awesome. I'm going to stop reading people's names because it must be boring for anyone that doesn't know those people. Mm. I'm a little bit shaky after that. Terrifying, I can't believe it. Right, uh, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to just move my piano a little bit out of the way so I can relax a bit more because it's sort of trapping me in my window. There we go. Ah, that's better. Now I can sit with my legs crossed, which is my default playing position. Do you know what it is about legs crossed? There's something sacred about sitting with your legs crossed. Right, what am I playing? Oh, Songbird. Songbird. This is a song originally by Christine McVie, but um, uh, Eva Cassidy made it really famous again um, on her debut album. All the highest songs tonight. I might have just to have another bit of water. Water, also known as water for people who can speak correctly. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, that one made my heart go funny today. It's bizarre, the effect. I'm honestly, I think if someone ever put me in an MRI scanner whilst playing certain songs, my brain activity would go off the Richter scale. Not that Richter scales are to do with medicine, but you know what I mean. Um, okay, let's do, yeah, let's do Every Day is a Winding Road. Uh, this is one of the very first covers I ever used to put in my set back years ago. I'm talking like 12 or 13 years ago now. Um, and it goes like this. song I've got another risk song I think I've played four risk songs tonight I'm feeling strong <laughs> there's still time for regrets no doubt but um yeah somebody challenged me to do that um, 10 albums that influenced you thing a while ago and um I succumbed and it reminded me uh, how many well I think the other the thing that it made me think was like, you know, there was a time when music was a hobby for me and not a job, and it was such a long time ago. I'd kind of forgotten that joy of just like listening to music and loving something and trying to play it. Um, 
I don't often do that anymore, and, and I should make time for it, I suppose. Um, and so I kind of, I had a, I shouldn't really play this because it's not finished yet. Um, uh, when I say finished, I mean I, I've made, I, I'm singing it and I'm playing along on my mandolin, um, but it, I could come up with a much nicer arrangement of this. Um, I just kind of, I kept it simple and I just like singing it really. I, could, I suppose I could do it without any instrumentation, but so this is really rough around the edges. It's just, it's a song from the Fleet Foxes album, um, The Helplessness Blues, um, which is one of my favourite albums. And uh, this song is called Lorelei. <coughs> and it's just really sweet to sing. Um, they don't play it on a mandolin, but I just think it sounds sweet on a mandolin. It would sound even sweeter if my mandolin stayed in tune, but as I discussed two weeks ago with you, it never stays in tune. So just, just imagine an in-tune mandolin with great intonation. Uh, but it's just a sweet little song, so I'm going to play it. And to help with the consequences, this is Lorelei. So, guess I got old I was like trash on the sidewalk I guess I knew why Often it's hard to just sweet talk I was old news to you then Old news, old news Piano, mandolin, electric guitar, acoustic guitar. I have no more instruments. I, well, actually, I do. I have a violin, but I refuse to play that in public right now. But talking about doing new stuff, um, I am writing new material. I know you've been asking me for years, and uh, it's actually happening. I actually worked on a brand new song a couple of nights ago. Um, so uh, tonight is, is the last of the, the sort of um, show-type live streams I'm doing. Um, for a little while while I get some new material together. But I am going to keep putting new stuff up, so um, do stick around. Um, I am going to be posting the new songs in their sort of early demo formats and their raw stages. Um, I've not done that before. Um, as I kind of brought up with you the other week, I'm coming back into the music industry after a long time of, of kind of hibernating from it. And a lot has changed, and um, the way music works and the way the music industry works has changed, and coronavirus has changed it yet again. So um, I'm kind of thinking of, of just uh, different ways of doing things, and I, I'm thinking of, of releasing songs song by song rather than a full album like I, I've done in the past. Um, so yeah, new times, new things ahead, so stay in touch. Um, if anybody wants to make any donations for the show tonight, please do. Um, I think I'll put a link in somewhere. Um, that you can you can do that or if you want to download any of my albums you can find them on Bandcamp and iTunes and Amazon and all of that kind of stuff too um, 
But yeah, I, I'm going to finish with, uh, I've got two more for you. One is a Fleetwood Mac song, and then somebody asked for Big Yellow Taxi, so I will totally do that. I think it was someone called Paul. If that was you, Paul, just wait one more song and we'll be there. If anybody's bothered, my toe still hurts. Four weeks now it's been since I broke it, since my first live stream, and it's still, still causing me grief. It's like the adventures of Abby Moore. How's the toe doing? Every live stream you can get a toe update. <laughs> so here's another uh, song I used to play a lot. This is Go Your Own Way. Loving you. last year actually I'm kind of pleased now in retrospect because this year I was supposed to see Aerosmith and uh, Alanis Morissette and um, it doesn't look like either of those are going to be happening so I'm kind of glad I, I did loads of big ones last year and the year before I saw Neil Young and Paul Simon in the same concert amazing last year was Stevie Wonder when will we get to do it again I do not know Right, it's time to go. I uh, haven't had my tea yet. I'm starving. So uh, I'm going to play one more song for you. Um, obviously, I can't keep up with all the comments um, while I'm playing, so uh, sorry if I've ignored anything uh, that you've said that uh, deserved to be read out. Um, I will read through all of the comments after my tea and uh, reply to anything that uh, if you asked any questions or anything like that. Um, or just say thank you for tuning in. It's been a pleasure again. Um, I hope to see you again. Keep keep. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for new stuff. How very exciting. Um, and I'm going to finish with uh, the request for Big Yellow Taxi. But I have to detune because that's what Joey does.
good. Um, you can always find me at abbymore.com if you need to. Um, all my stuff is on there. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again very soon. Oh, this is one of my favourite things to do when you're bored. You should buy a guitar just to do that. Stay well, people. Keep your chins up. Um, so this one's for Paul. I think it was Paul J that asked for this. Uh, so I hope you're still watching, Paul. Uh, this one's for you. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. <laughs> Lovely. Here we go. watching oh I've got a greasy face it's hot up there right goodbye everyone <laughs> take care